Boys, I woke up to terrible news this morning. This week in Hell Divers 2, we were supposed to be presenting nothing but good news. But from the front lines, it has been relayed to me that we have lost Malevolent Creek, aka Space Vietnam. Now, you may be wondering how the hell did we lose control this fast overnight? I don't know. I'm scratching my head wondering if the Game Masters are tweaking the numbers. But whether or not the gods themselves have it out for us, it doesn't matter. Every man, woman, and child must be armed and ready to take on these commie bastards for the sake of democracy. Today, guys, we have another This Week in Hell. Now, in last week's video, the most upvoted comment was to rename This Week in Hell to This Week in Democracy, which is no lie, does sound pretty good. The problem is, is that that acronym TWID is the exact same acronym that Bungie uses This Week in Destiny. Granted, we don't even call it a TWID, we still call it a TWAB, as it used to be called This Week at Bungie. The point is, this is putting me in a sticky situation. Do we call it This Week in Democracy, or do we call it This Week in Hell? Most notably, This Week in Hell Divers 2. I leave this up to you. With that being said, though, We've got a lot of things to unpack today, guys. We've got news, patch notes, and a number of clips to share, so let's get started. Over the past week, we have had three updates roll out, which is quite a bit. We're going to start with patch 1.000.11, which came out February the 22nd. Turns out there was lots of things that were triggering crashes. From the developers here, fixed multiple crashes triggered when joining other players' ships. Fixed crash triggered when exiting ADS, which blows my mind. Literally, when you aim down sights, and then you came out of that, somehow that that would trigger a crash for certain people. Fix crash trigger when players leave a session while bombardments are active. Fix issue where online missions and Galactic War map were unselectable and fix an issue with Game Guard and Steam's Verify Integrity Step. Now, there are some other fixes in regards to the firewall as well as access to ship management. There's also players that were getting stuck in the defrosting or in the ship in its intro cinematic. And there was literally a crash that would occur if you bought super credits or most notably when buying super credits fail. Lol. Now, the biggest change that happened this past week was that Arrowhead finally implemented an AFK kick. Any player who remains idle for 15 minutes will get kicked back to the title screen. Now, this is a big deal considering there were literally people who would go to bed at night, leave their player in game so that when they woke up the next day, they wouldn't have to sit waiting to log in over and over. Now, Friday, we also got a patch, patch 1.000.12, where Arrowhead actually raised the server cap. We're going to touch more on that in just a moment, but this is great news. They also fixed an issue where some players would get stuck in cinematics for an extended period of time. And lastly, yesterday morning, we got patch 1.000.13, which improved login speed and error messages on PS5, improved support for Azerty keyboards by allowing the ship HUD shortcuts to be rebound. They also fixed some issue with super credits not showing up after purchase, the premium warm bond not being accessible after purchase as well, crashes, which would occur if a player changed their rank or title. Now, the biggest fix to this was actually the unlimited stratagem use glitch, which occurs after an AFK kick. Yeah, you've probably seen some video clips of this guys it's wild it's literally a glitch that resulted in you having unlimited stratagems no lie i kind of want a game mode of that right and just let me go in there and decimate everything for a mission there are also a number of things that they fix in regards to the afk kick which would cause problems like missing equipment purple question marks etc now there's a number of known issues that arrowhead is still looking into most of these just revolve around players disconnecting those rewards still being delayed if you play the mission and come out of it you probably noticed you haven't gotten rewards immediately we still have characters freezing in place if they pick up certain objects in game but the biggest known issue is still that armor values for light medium and heavy armor do not currently function as intended this is such a nasty bug and i hope they can get this squashed pretty soon considering the whole point of using especially like heavy armor is to have of course more armor now to touch back on the server cap arrowhead has raised it to 700 000, which is a big jump from the previous 450 000. the ceo had this to share when this went live friends of hell divers 2 i have one final update for tonight we have updated the max cc CCU cap to 700,000. Unfortunately, we expect the CCU to reach that level. We believe that the wait times will be much more bearable. Now, this led them to also posting that because of the server increase, it was the first time last Friday that they were actually able to get through that day without any major server and load issues. With the CEO posting just a few days later that they were expecting the Hell Diver 2 servers to hit 800,000 CCU max capacity and that there might be light queues to get in at peak times. So the servers got raised once more by another 100,000. So far, everything was pretty smooth this past weekend. Numbers were
were good for Hell Divers 2. A lot of folks fighting for democracy in the servers, at least every time I got on, let me ride into the game. And we know this was problem number one for Arrowhead. With those things being addressed, they can now start focusing on the game itself. Now, Hell Divers actually posted some crazy numbers this past week, peaking out at 458,208 players. And again, this is on Steam. We're not even counting console. Now, this brings us to some of the shenanigans we have seen Hell Divers do over the past week. Most notably, Hell Divers are actually killing their teammates when they pick up samples. Fellas, I don't know how this got started. Samples are shareable. We literally mentioned this in our review, but somehow, some way, some players started to believe that samples were not shareable, which meant if you saw Joe run over there and pick up the super samples, your teammate would kill him, thinking that he had to have it on him personally in order to keep those samples when they extract. Now, I know there may be some confusion here because there have been times people have gone back after missions in the post credit screen and they've realized, A, they got no experience and B, no rewards. Just keep in mind, guys, that's a server bug. You will eventually get those things. It just might take another mission or two and everything will roll over. So please, for the love of God, don't kill your teammates. Samples are shared. Another thing that we've been notified about is that Helldiver players are actually kicking other players if they are not rocking so-called meta builds. Now, look, have I kicked somebody before out of a Destiny 2 fire team? Absolutely. But I normally knew the guy, right? It was a joke. It was fun. But to just randomly kick people, blueberries that you pick up to join your public lobbies just because what? They're not rocking a rail gun? Calm down, man. Perhaps that blueberry is a bayberry in disguise and they themselves know the meta better than you do. Look, we've seen some wild shenanigans from folks in this community with certain stratagem loadouts. So guys, don't kick anybody. Let it play out. And who knows? Maybe if they aren't rocking the meta loadouts, you could be that guy that shows them the way. Just don't be a dick about it. Look, I know. The breaker is a fantastic weapon. The rail gun, the shield generator, cluster bombs, orbital rail cannon. But every now and then you come across somebody rocking a jump pack and they are scooting across the map, nailing those objectives. Don't kick that guy. He knows what he's doing. Let him do his thing. And to take this a step further, there's literally posts on the Steam forums. It's gaining a lot of attention and declaring the need to set the standard for eight plus missions. And quote, if they're using anything but the right breaker gun, kick. If they have worthless stratagems that are weak, kick. If they don't have either rail gun or the nade launcher, kick. Not using a shield, kick. Now listen, I don't believe in friendly fire, but if there was ever a moment that I would literally unload on these teammates, it would be if somebody came in there and started nitpicking my damn stratagem loadout. You preach democracy, but you get all up in my ass about what I'm using. Now this goes further with this quote right here. We need to set a standard for high rank pug at being pickup group play. You can have your silly builds or weak guns on your own or friends time. But if you're not using these things, you are trolling and should be kicked. To these hell divers, all that I request is that you lick thy ass front to back. Get all up in there. Don't dabble. Don't just dance around the edge. Lick it all. Now, despite this toxicity, players are still playing the piss out of it. But it's this shit right here that really pisses me off. When I go to my chiropractor and he tells me some team of assholes booted him because he didn't have the right loadouts. That's right there, man. That gets me. It almost makes me want Arrowhead to open up a PvP server. Y'all want to get toxic? Let's get toxic. Now, one last thing. And again, I want to mention before we get into this, this is a spoiler. So if you do not want to know about mechs, look away. With that being said, there was a leak that was posted on Reddit earlier today showing some footage of mech gameplay coming to Hell Divers 2. Now, before you jump up and just throw this leak completely out the door, keep in mind that this was a initially teased back at the end of Hell Divers 2 report for launch trailer posted right before the game release, showing footage of a player jumping into the back of a mech and then chasing a herd of bucks with text at the bottom of the screen saying, coming soon after launch. And apparently from this leak here on Reddit, soon must be really soon. We'll have a link to this video and the post down below in the description if you want to check it out for yourselves, guys. But dude, this mech looks potent. It's got like an auto cannon on it. It also doesn't seem to be consuming any ammo, or at least I don't see an ammo count going down. But I look at this and I wonder, could it go like head to head against a Hulker? Keep in mind, we are actively losing the fight against the automatons. This right here, these mech suits could literally be the thing that turns the tide. So fellas, that's it. That is your This Week in Democracy. We've got some funny clips to share. Enjoy these. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Don't kill your teammates and don't be toxic and kicking people just because they're using something different than you. Aim for the bushes. Be advised, I'm going Betty Bass. What the fuck? What the fuck? 
<laughs> Jesus. Be advised, it is nap time. Liberty never sleeps, soldier. Get the f up. Oh, my watch. Be advised, I am EP. <laughs> 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 Next motherfucker to sleep on the job is getting rail candid. Be advised, Hulk <laughs> shoot. Hey, hold on! Oh, shit! What the fuck is this? Tactical EPDUS. Why is age on fire? Okay, I, I burned a fucking death. Freedom. 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 Oh, EP. I, I just did drugs. <laughs> oh! Where did bro It says press. <laughs> Nair all over the fort. I'm calling it. I'm doing. We, all you guys got to do is worry about not dying. Oh, I I'm just doing the, the sh Duh, I don't know if I can do that. Be advised, Honk Shoe. Don't These robots aren't making me fuck up. <laughs> Be advised, no. Honk Shoe is wild. Be advised, I'm cuddling my teddy. It is time for sleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.